Right, welcome to EVRC. EVRC, where we are leaving the town, the village of Brood, after I've just come down to get some shots of the Escute or Escute Wayfarer. So I'm on my way home, it's dark, it's coming dark. Uh, we're going to see how this does in the dark, hopefully, it does all right. I've got three bars. I've done 8.9 miles, so considering it's cold, fuel wise or power rocket wise, it seems to be doing about the right amount. It's meant to be doing about 25 miles, so right, I'm guessing I go this way, I think. I don't, I don't know, I'm gonna get lost. It's dark. I think it's this way. I should get my phone out, shouldn't I? And get my uh, GPS on, but oh well. Right, I think it's this way. Maybe it's not, I'll just turn around. I've got power. A bit. Getting a bit windy, innit? Alright, let's look for some signs. You see any signs? Well, it can't be that way, it's gonna be this way, innit? The pavement. I remember the pavement. I think that's right, I went up there. So it's this way. I remember. Now hopefully my back light will alert people to my presence so I don't get killed. If I do get knocked off, hopefully my camera will survive. And we'll be able to retrace my uh, last steps. Let's go up to, uh, let's take it up to fret level midnight. AKA assist level five. It's starting to rain a bit. 30 miles an hour I'm allowed. Oh, let's get a bigger gear. Let's help it along a bit. I find the key with e-bikes is like, don't think, oh, you're going fast, put it in the higher gear because then you'll just get tired if you try and go faster than the proper speed. So choose the gear where your legs are kind of pushing it round, but still not finding it too hard. I mean, I know that's pretty obvious. Oh, well, you might even say it's wrong, but and I feel like some people might be like, when it's going, when you're going a bit fast, just put it in top speed, top gear, which is fine, but you'll have to do a bit of work then. And generally the idea with e-bikes is that you're not meant to do any work. It's quite busy here for a Sunday afternoon. So uh, this is kind of like the second part. I was going to do this all in one video and I wasn't going to film going home. I wasn't going to film me going home, but then I thought I might as well. More footage in it and it's been, it's dark, it's cold. It's hard to get out these days. We'll find the motivation to get out and just ride around. So since I'm already out, might as well. Pretty sure this is the way I came in. How are you getting all these nice lights? One thing I want to do is a Christmas tour on the unicycle of my estate. Now my estate isn't as uh, posh as this estate. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've been here before. <laughs> Hopefully, what's that say? Brood, yeah, I remember this, I remember this. But that does mean the lights on my estate will be more impressive because that's just how it works in the UK. So, uh, at some point, maybe next week, I'll go around on a unicycle and we'll have a Christmas lights tour. Uh, I like this kind of darkness. It's not too dark. I can still see everything. You can see the light. The lights are definitely more for other people than for me because they're not exactly the most powerful lights. See, I've got to have my visor up now as well because it's so dark. If I put it down, I can't see anything. Yep, that's just dark. So, uh, I've got to put up with a bit of wind noise. That's what happens when your visor's up. Ooh. But, I'm going a nice, nice pace. 16 miles per hour is all right. It's not mega fast. Shouldn't take too long to get back by which time it will be dark. Oh, the fellow's a dead dog. I do need a wee. 
Uh, it's just kind of nice where that if I wanted to, I can ride around stuff like this, all this kind of countrysidey stuff. And it doesn't take that much to drive around like urban city style areas. Actually, to, for me, it's easier to drive around stuff like ride around stuff like this than it is to ride around the urban areas because when you got Wolverhampton, really, don't really want to go all the way up to uh, Birmingham just to ride my bike around. Oh, oh, the bumps, which I feel I'm a bum because there's no rear suspension. But making me need the toilet, <laughs> I'll be all right. So I know the bike's going to make it home, but will I make it home without weeing myself? And these are my only good jeans. I need to get some more. If there's anyone in the UK who knows a good place to get Levi's, I'm not sure I can trust the ones on Amazon. Right, getting a bit difficult, so. Go low in the gear, that feels good now. So use your gears to help you out. Use your assist levels to help you out. I'm assist level five, keep it in there. <sighs> Into Coven. So I go through Coven. One thing I will say is that um, the seat's pretty comfortable. I wouldn't say it's like mega soft or anything, but I'm not like mega aching. But then you might think, how, why did you mention it then? Surely you just realised your, your arse aches? Well, <laughs> I've done... How many miles have I done? I've done about eight miles so far, and I'm kind of... feel... I can feel the saddle, but I wouldn't say aches. Right, they're turning. Do they know I'm here? Let's waggle around a bit. Here we go. Thank you. I'd, uh, I think that was a good idea actually, doing the waggle. That's a nice looking uh, thing, even though know, pylons. I hate pylons. Okay, it's not nice. But this little road looks nice. Newish estate over there. Look to be about 30 years old. Maybe. That's not new anymore, Alex. What are you talking about? Over the mini roundabout. What is this? Pink side. Is this the bit where I realise I've gone the wrong way and I'm going to end up in Bilbrook or something? No, 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 this is definitely Coburn. However, I'm not sure... What's that? You know what I think it's this way? Yep, Wolverhampton Stafford? I think it's this way. I need to see the co-op. So I ended up fixing the um, the mud guard scraping, the scraping noise from a couple of videos ago. Yeah, that was uh, that was quite annoying. But all it was, I hadn't put the mud guard on properly, so that was all my fault. It feels feels good now. I love pedal assist actually. It's uh, it's a really good idea. So I'm not really doing anything. Right. Is this the bit? I wonder how the camera's doing, if you can see stuff. Car behind. I'm glad I put the rear view mirror on from the other bike. Right, I think... I think I'm going right now. Yeah, yeah. I've been riding there there before. Here we go, there's the co-op. Man, it's so windy. Can you hear that? I say can you hear that, but by the time I've edited the video and uploaded it, I'll know if you can hear that because I'll hear that. Right. Oh, you know what? I think I've just gone the wrong way. Right, this is heading towards the Stafford Road. Which means nothing to you, I'm sure, but yeah, I need to go in that road over there. 
<sighs> oh yeah, you can make it, you can make it. Is this, is this the road? Lawn line, yeah, lawn line. That rings a bell. So as long as it rings a bell, do I remember that family of snowmen? Sorry if you didn't get to see that, that was quite cool. The family of snowmen. That's the problem with not having a um, head-mounted camera. Chest-up-mounted camera seems to kind of look better on like speed and stuff, but chest-mounted camera. I remember that. I've been in there, Star Park. Or have I? I can't remember. Right, let's hope I'm going the right way. I've charged my phone, so if I do get lost, at least I can put the sat-nav on. But I think I'm going the right way. At least if I'm not going the right way, and I'm desperate for the toilet, I'm sure I'll uh, get away with that somehow. Oh, I could do with... No, lowering it doesn't make any difference. I bought this helmet for my uh, unicycle, really. But I figured I'd got a new helmet, I might as well wear it. Right, we're into national speed limit. Which if anyone saw my death traps video, you know that I don't really agree with on country lanes. I don't really understand why the narrowest roads, the blindest roads, are 60 mile an hour roads. But then that's UK laws for you, they don't really make any sense. I'm still looking for that church in Worcester where it's legal to kill someone and see if you can actually get away with it. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'll take that back. I'm not actually going to try and kill someone on that church, but I'm interested to know about the church. Right, that's, that's cool. Let's stop here. You see that? Car coming, let's go. Yeah, I've been here, I know you. I know where I am. Been here before. It's getting a bit hairy now. As in, people won't see me. I won't see the side of the road very well. So as, as a car's going past, I could end up riding into a ditch. Falling over. And if the car doesn't give me much room, they stamp on my head I don't feel cold that's good that this this would be a right bummer if I was cold so I don't know what day I'm uploading this I don't know if there's a what's gone in gone on but uh, I know it's gonna be close to Christmas so what have you what have you like what are your plans for Christmas I don't know anything good, seeing long lost family, seeing people you haven't seen for a long time because of Covid, hopefully by the time this video goes live there's no horrible restrictions come back into place because of Omicron. <sighs> oh it's a bit light over there in the clouds, you can see that. <sighs> yeah I think it was last October was the first time I went out at night in like two over two years like we didn't go out that much anyway but then because lockdown came we just didn't do it again so uh, hopefully this week or last week depending on when this video went live it'll be the second time but it does seem kind of difficult to get people out I think some people might be worried that if yeah, they did catch something it had ruined their Christmas. I mean, this time last year, not this time, maybe in a week from what, as I say this, I got COVID, so I had it over Christmas. Like, literally, we broke up from school, and that weekend, I got it, and I got locked in a room. Not dissimilar to those scenes from Misery with Kathy Bates. Except Jess didn't try and hammer my, uh, hammer my ankles, luckily. She just uh, gave me food. 
Oh. Right. I might stop on the motorway this time. So I drove past it last time. I remember when I used to go for bike rides here, I used to like stopping on the motorway. I'd be like, everyone, let's stop here. Like, Why? <laughs> I would look at the cars. And I found it strangely relaxing. So I'll do that again. I do believe they're up here. Up the gears again. So even though I'm going up a hill, I'm still going 15 miles an hour, which is pretty much you know the speed I'm meant to be doing. I'm not doing that much with my feet. I just for some reason. Oh, that was blinding. Come on, blinding lights. Come on. Can't see. Can't see. Don't care about little old me, does he? Huh. Right here it is. Have a quick look. Ugh. I like this. Maybe at the time, I don't know, I pretty liked a girl or something. Maybe I was a bit like sad, you know, a bit emo y. And, uh, I just found watching the cars go past like strangely relaxing. It's quite nice. You're pretty lucky, you're like, okay, right, next video. Let me know. Anyone out there who likes watching cars go by on a motorway bridge? Let me know in the comments, let's go. Right. So this light, as far as lights go, it's alright. Oh, I felt the suspension then, that was nice. Nice and soft as I went off the kerb. Gotta be careful now though. Right, I'm gonna do I'm going downhill so let's try and get a bit of speed. Right, no one behind me for a bit. See it's, it's not nice riding in the gutter. When you're riding in the gutter, you don't know there's going to be like a dodgy pothole. I mean, there could be a pothole in the middle of the road as well, but you know, there's more crap in the gutter, isn't there? People come out of their houses and put the poo in the gutter. Oh, they did. In Game of Thrones times. That's right. Right. Slow. What's this sign? Billbrook. Billbrook. I don't remember seeing a Billbrook sign. I haven't gone the wrong way. I'm pretty sure I just followed the road round. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. This this way. It's this way. There's the caravan part. Yeah, it's this way. I'm all right. I don't know why it's Billbrook though. Billbrook's like not here. There used to be a tree here that had the silhouette of a dragon. I mean, the tree's probably still here, but it's probably lost its leaf, so it didn't look like a dragon anymore. But for many, many years, it looked like a dragon. It could be that one there, but you can't see it. <sighs> Not far now. <sighs> Night rides. I mean, you can't see much, can you? They're more like ASMR. I think someone left a comment before saying it's like an ASMR. What's that? The one down there is. So, you know, you've got to be a proper... be interested in what I'm saying. You need to watch a video like this one. And yet, some of my night rides have got more views than some of the day rides. So let me know, which vehicle would you like to see next? I've done videos on iScooter i9, so there's the e-scooters, the i9 and the iX4, we'd like to see either of them again. E-bikes, huh. this one, Askew Wayfarer, so if you'd like to see more Askew Wayfarer, let me know. Or the Addo A20F that kind of started the channel off. And then there's the 9Bot1 unicycle, electric unicycle, which I basically just moan about all the time because it's too slow. And uh, there might be something else 
on the way something quite exciting but we'll see what santa brings me and uh i definitely know where i am now we're going down this roady bit that i've uh come down a few times before the Wobaston road but i'm currently on the cycle path so i think i'll finish it there then oh dodgy bit i'm all right i'm okay there's the uh the Birmingham of the Midshires. Nothing to do with the Shire. Right, so I'm going to finish it. So if you enjoy people talking about random anything whilst riding electric vehicles, don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed this ASMR video in the dark, don't forget to hit the like button. But if you're still here right now, let me know in the comments that you made it all the way to the end. You are a superstar and it's people like you that make this video appear in people's uh, inboxes, feeds, whatever, to say, hey, you might be interested in this video. And then they swipe it away. But anyway, if I don't see you, or if I don't say anything before Christmas, have a great Christmas. Hope you get what you want. Hope you see who you want. Uh, hope you get with who you want to get with. All that good stuff. And uh, this is me, Alex of the EVRC, signing off. Until next time, Merry Christmas and have a Happy New Year. Take care. Oh, I'll, I'll probably go around the route unicycle and look at Christmas decorations. But yeah, if you don't tune into that, have a great Christmas. Take care. Bye-bye.